So hi everyone, welcome back on this video, I'm Alex and um, last time we finished working on uh, this part adding some um, white streaks and mud I haven't um, kept on working since I didn't have much time but uh, what I wanted to do today was to add uh, grease effects around this uh, this joint uh, part and uh, this is what we're going to do today and for this we're going to use uh, different products still working with the Starship filth uh, for the first grease effects and then uh, of course one buff color and we are going to use the engine grime what I basically did last time, uh, just as we finished uh, this video, was adding a very, very subtle um, wash around this part, but I think that it didn't actually uh, uh, show up, so um, that's not a problem. What we're going to do today is, first, uh, use the buff color to add some dust all around this part here. Um, and we're going to do a very very light wash. We could do it also using the light dust um, effect or um, uh, other kind of, of, uh, of product using a, a um, enamel product but we're not going to do this. We're going to still to work with the oil paints just because they are very powerful and this is what I'm going to show you. So let's start this. I'm not going this time to apply the, the buff color uh, straight from the from the jar, I'm just going to add a little um, amount of the of the of the paint in my palette. I'm going to uh, dilute this uh, a little, and I'm going to simply add a very very light um, wash uh, of the product all around the surface. So let's see how it goes. So the, here the paint is very very thinned, and we're going to play with it. So as it gets, as it as it creates, it will create a very very faint uh, effect uh, of dust, which is all around the grease. Because where does the grease go? It goes. It sticks mostly on the on the dust. So again, I'm going to dip my paint my brush in the thinner and add some effects to it as the paint was thinned it's very very uh, light it's almost translucent very transparent and this is what I want to get as an effect uh, as a first effect remember we're going to layer the effects get more and more um, um, layers of paints as to so as to create the effect we're after. So I'm going to dry this, uh, add some more dust, buff color, like this. And work the paint again. like this. So as the paint is very thinned, uh, it gets less uh, structure, texture to it, but it's not, not, much of a, not much of a problem because we're going to um, add different layers of paint and it's going to be uh, more realistic in the, in the next uh, steps. So I'm going to dry this again. This is dry and now we're going to move on to the next, with the next color. So this time we're going to use the Starship Filth but we're going to use it pure this time still using the inbuilt applicator like this and we're going to concentrate the paint around that central part like this and now the goal is to push the paint around and in the corners all around there so as to get very convincing effects like 
Okay, here my, my brush is a bit too dry, okay? And the effect, the paint does not uh, do exactly what I wanted to do. It's just start, it just stays there. And this is not what I want. So I'm going to add a little thinner on my brush, remove most of it, and then I'm going to move on and work the effect again. So there we go, see? Now the paint gets a little more translucent. It really gets around the around the the, the detail. And this is exactly what I want. That Starship Tales color is really good. I really love it very much. Okay, this is nice. I'm going to um, add more effect this time, still using the um, the Starship Filth uh, oil brusher. This time I'm going to apply it with the brush. Because I want to go in the in the, in the central part of this um, of this part. Just like this. Right in the middle. I'm going to add some, you know dirt, grease, stuff like this. Okay, and I'm going to stipple the paint again in the middle. Alright. This is looking quite good. I can add some paint all around the detail like this. Just to have, just to have a very uniform uh, texture to it, to, uh, color to the, to the part. And now we can add some other dots of paints here and there just to create some uh, variation to the to the surface. This brush is dry. Okay, I'm trying to fight um I'm trying to fight um, monotony here, okay? Um, of course, I'm going to, later, I'm going to add other effects all around this because uh, grease tends to uh, to uh, spread and to, uh, and to, to, um, to dirt, uh, to, um, yeah, to, to put a mess all around the, the surface, but I'm going to do this uh, off, off camera. Okay, this is a very good start. I'm going to dry this. And now we're going to get a bit deeper now with the effect. We're going to um, now work with the engine grime, uh, engine grime, yeah, fuel and oil. Grime, it's a very dark color. It's very interesting to work with. And basically what I'm going to do is simply use that mud uh, inside the cap, inside the lid, uh, to um, to work the effect. It's a bit thick, and it, but it's just perfect for the effect. I'm not sure. So now I'm just concentrating the effect around the details, and again, I'm adding more dirt. Then I try pushing around the details. Okay, if you make mistakes like this, for example, I have some a bit of paint that went this way, it's not a problem. Just you can just work it because it's still fresh. So either you, you remove it entirely or you just work with it, give it another um, another effect, which is just what I'm after. Okay, now we can add more dirt in the middle, like this. I'm, go I'm not going to touch this. I'm, I'm going to, to let it sit just like this. And again, I'm going to add more effects like that. And here I'm very, I'm being very, very careful. And I try not to add too much paint everywhere. Okay, I'm going to add small dots here and there I'm 
and add some streaks. This is dirty, remember? Okay, I need to add a little more thinner on the brush. And I'm going to streak this down a little. Belly, I'm barely touching it. Right. And if I decide that this is too much, that there is not enough uh, variety and not enough uh, streaks, I can just come back and just draw the the lines a bit clearer so that they're they look nicer. Okay, I'm going to dry this so we can see the result better. Okay, so let's see here. We have very interesting effects. We have accumulated dust uh, using the buff color and then some uh, dirt all around using the Starship filth. And then a darker grime color uh, using the um, engine grime. Okay, so this is basically it. I could stop here, but what I want to do now is add um, more um, a more oily color and this is what we're going to do right now using another product which is really good it's the um, fresh engine oil this color is also dark but it's just, it has a glossy finish which is just perfect for the effects we're after um, and we can we can combine it with some pigments but I'm going to use it very uh, pure this time here just because I want to have a very um, a, a very glossy finish on this on on this part, so let's do this. I just take some product in the in the lid lid, and I'm going just to add small amounts of paint all around the all around the central detail. Just like this. I can use the brush also to just go over the previous streaks. And this is it. I can push the product a bit. If I if I decide that it's not going exactly where I wanted to do to go. I can still work the effect at some random spots of grease here and there. I'm just being very, very careful right now. I don't want to have a lot of um, oil everywhere. I don't want the, the full part to be very glossy. I just need to have some glossy spots on this. What I could also do is add some spots uh, splatters like the the always spilled so again still using this um, the, the the mixer I could I'm just trying to add some I need some thinner because it's too thick like this and what we can do is add some um, It's very subtle, okay? It's barely visible. But it's there. Okay, this is it. So we have a very nice oily, glossy, and dark, grimy surface, which is exactly what I wanted. And it's surrounded by dust and it's very easy in a few steps you can do this but remember you have to play with the dilution you have to play with um, with your the dilution of the paint you have to play with the dilution the, um, the amount of thinner you have on your brush it's very important to be um, to do this uh, for this technique otherwise you would get some very it's it's you'd get very um, 
um, not not controlled effect, and it's very it's very um, it's very sad. You have to work this technique uh, a lot. I, I it took me a while to really understand how it works to to uh, to play with oils. So um, basically, this is what you have to do. I hope you liked the video. Um, you can subscribe, of course. I'd be very happy um, if you um, if you join the channel just to be informed of the the videos. And um, next time we're going to work on the rust effects, uh, which are going to be very easy to. And then uh, I'll probably move on on my on my uh, on my own just to show you how the part can be finished uh, in order to get something which basically looks like this. Uh, okay, thank you very much. See you around.